Oh, see, I had moved all this stuff when the cleaning ladies came. Because I didn't want them to have to make room. All right, hold on. I'm about to start in one second. <laughs> hey, guys. It's me again. I'm, now today, I'm here trying to organize this messy closet a little. <laughs> this is bad. I have to go through this. Okay. Uh, it's really, really bad. So I'm a little overwhelmed, but you know, I gotta start. Hmm, where shall we begin? So this is just one side of the closet and then I have to start on the other once I get this in order, you know? So yeah, I have a lot of stuff that's, you know, a little outdated. So I need to get rid of a lot of stuff so I can get a lot of brand new things. So I guess, you know, update my wardrobe because it's, it's a little outdated. So as you can see, I just started to pile so much stuff in here to get it out the way. But yeah, you know what they say? They say what? If it doesn't add value to your life, if it doesn't add value to your life or bring you joy or happiness, you know, get rid of it. So I guess that's what we're doing. Spring cleaning, except it's not spring yet, but we're starting early, you know? You know what? Maybe I should just start with my gym clothes first and come back to this a little later. I've been, you know, working out these last couple of years. I'm sure you guys follow me and you're all up to date with that. So I'm mic'd up, so don't say nothing to self incriminate yourself. <laughs> no, I'm fine. Yeah, tell me what's my... What don't you want the people to know? Tell me what you don't want to yeah. meet a new people. Out the house. That's a great conversation. Yeah. Are you ready for that question? <laughs> I don't think you've been asked that question before. I know, right? How are you gonna go about meeting new people? I don't know. I don't really go anywhere. That's the problem. I need to get out. But where, where, like, where would you I go? Need to go somewhere. Exactly. Have you ever met somebody in her situation before? That is. Um, Never met nobody in her situation before. Never met nobody with more than two kids. So I think uh, training someone that has five kids is definitely a challenge because they deal with a lot of stress outside of just working out or normal day-to-day -day stuff that they may deal with personal. Where's your number one place to travel? Like my favorite place? Where's your favorite place to travel? I love Turks and Caicos. Turks and Caicos. Uh -huh. I've been there once and I can't wait to go back. All right. Where's a place that you haven't traveled that you want to travel to? Bora Bora. Oh, yes. Oh, wow. Know, but I heard that flight is so long. I heard it's like 16 hours. That's close. Bora Bora is your dream destination. Yes. Would you go there with a guy or would you go with your friends or would you go like what type of location do you think that is? I want to go with both. I want to go with a guy friend and... A guy friend? Like a boyfriend? Well, yeah. Husband? Well, I, I'm, I'm not married. I don't have a husband. You plan on getting married? One day, whenever God send me my dream man. Your dream man? Yeah. You know, these abs that's coming on there. Gotta make sure it's looking right. But as you can see, I'm getting tired of all my little workout clothes that I already have. So I think it's time to get rid of a lot of these, a lot of these little outfits and you know, get some brand new swag on up in here. Cause I'm, I'm getting bored with this stuff. So I need to swag them out at the gym. I really like to wear whatever in the gym. Like I could do a hoodie, I like shorts. I wear everything. I don't really have a favorite go-to outfit, but I just know I need something new. Like all of these things are old. Like I've had these for too many years. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love my old things, but I just gotta get some new, some new swag up in here, some new outfits. So I guess I'm gonna donate a lot of my, a lot of these clothes that's here. This week is Shakira's 15th birthday. And we kinda had a hard time of what we were actually gonna do. Like she wanted to do like a sleepover at a cabin. That was the first idea. At the last minute, she decided that we would do Andretti's, which was like, they give you a couple different options for different things. You know, they got the indoor go-kart, laser tag, bowling, and then it's like an arcade where you could play games. So I felt like that was the best option to go with. And 
So that's where we'll be having it. She says she doesn't want a cake or cupcakes, anything. She doesn't want to sing happy birthday. So I'm like, you sure? You sure that's what you want to do? And she was like, yeah, no. And it's only, she said she was only going to invite like a couple friends, maybe like five or six. I don't, I don't know why she doesn't want to sing happy birthday, but you know, it's her birthday. So I'm just going to go with it. And yeah, so I mean, I'm excited, you know, I'm going to do everything, all the little activities she's doing. I'm going to participate. And then, you know, these teenagers these days, they, all they want is money, jewelry. What is it? Money, jewelry, or, or clothes. She did, she did keep asking me about a piercing. She wants to get her nose pierced and I'm like yeah no it's not happening I don't even know what it's called where the little hoop is in the middle of your nose yeah that's a no that's a no for her last year on her 14th 14th birthday we did a hotel party and she had maybe about six seven friends as well but I didn't want to do it again this year because I feel like it's a bad idea to do a hotel party because they'll complain about how loud you play your music <laughs> So it wasn't really a good experience for us. If we were to do another sleepover, it would have to be at home or maybe like rent out a house, like a cabin, like we said. You know what, yeah, last year was not, was not the hotel party, that was the year before. So that was her 13th birthday, which was the hotel. <laughs> And then her 14th birthday was a skating party. So I'm like, you sure you don't wanna do skating this year? like no because I'm the only one that can skate none of my friends know how to skate I'm like well y'all can learn she was like no mm -mm. I'm like okay I mean I, I'm gonna skate with you but that wasn't good enough, so you know. But I think go-karting and everything else, bowling, like someone, like her friends will have to do at least one of them. So yes, her friends, whoever that she um, invites, they'll be able to, you know, participate in everything that's there. It's like a, I guess the party pack, they have like everything scheduled, like you'll do bowling, I believe it might've been, might be for 60 minutes. the goat carts. After the go-kart, so you do the laser tag. Yeah, 
and then after laser, after laser tag, that's when you have time and they give you cards to play all the little games that's in the arcade area. Oh, and then we get pizza and ice cream. We do get that, but no cake and no cupcakes. I'm looking forward to Andretti's this week, but let me go ahead and tackle this little pile and then I have to start on my closets. So I will see you guys later. Ha, ha, ha. 